Hey everybody, welcome to Geek Freaks. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, today's our first of three E3 episodes. Uh, we're going to be talking about all things E3, and today we're going over EA, Xbox. I got my notes everywhere. That's why I'm sounding so scattered now. Xbox and Bethesda. Those are the first three that came out. Um, let's just go ahead and start with EA. Did you guys care for EA? What I mean, overall, what did you guys think of the EA announcements? Um. I liked, um, oh, I mean, obviously, it's only two announcements for me. We got Star Wars and FIFA. That's the only thing that two care about. Okay. Uh, Battlefield Five. I'm surprised that's the, why are we even talking about that still? I was excited. I was, I was excited for the ba- Battlefield Five announcements. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll admit that. Even really? the, even the Apex one, I was pretty excited about that. So I'm just like, oh, yeah. you know. Okay. So let's go from like least exciting to most exciting. So we'll start with FIFA. <laughs> that's the least <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. oh my Whoa. god by the way real quick before we get too far uh yes the voices do sound different right now this is one of our remote call-in episodes kind of thing so um the the audio quality i know is definitely not as good as it normally is uh, but this is so that we can bring you more content as we were recording for three days okay anyways yes fifa is coming back the reason i do some uh, somewhat like think it's gonna be cool is this fifa street thing they're doing Reminds me of the old Blitz games, NFL Blitz. And so they're going to have like these three on threes and four on fours and stuff like that. And like with keepers, no, I don't even know what a keeper is, but with those, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like whatever, but what'd you guys think of it? I mean, what are you excited about in this thing? You guys are shutting me down so hard. What's exciting you about this game? Well, it's soccer and they, well, one big thing is they did have a FIFA street back then in 2012 and it was a fun game. Oh, okay. Was it? Okay. Oh yeah. I, I had a blast. Just like those, uh, same thing like Madden, Madden NFL street. And yeah, I love the street games. I honestly wish they had that. one too. Yeah. That was pretty neat. Those were pretty fun. Okay. Um, um honestly, yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna get it because I'm cheap. Oh my god! So you were so defensive of it, so, and you're not gonna go buy it? That's crazy. Nah. Okay, let me let me let me uh, be defensive right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm going to get this because I skipped 19. So I was like, cool. I had a little break there um, because I didn't feel like 19 wasn't really too much. So 20, I'm already set to grab. Now I do like how they're bringing the street thing. Uh, to FIFA to give it more gameplay for it. Right, yeah. Um, because there's only so much you're going to do with the sports game every year, so how much more can you provide, like a Madden? Like, whoa. Okay, Madden's the same thing every year, different roster and cool, better graphics. It's always better graphics. like the new cell phone that comes out. It's it's the no shit you're going to have that, you know? Right, of course, of course. So, um, so I think that's what I'm kind of looking forward to, but hopefully what I, the thing that kills me is sometimes with games is they're so complicated when it comes to sports games. Like, let me pick a franchise that I want to play mostly with Madden. Let me just pick the Ravens or whoever and go through a season. I mean, I know you can, but sometimes they fill you with so much like stuff. You're like, what am I doing right now? Like, can I just press play? I yeah. see. Yeah. So you just like, well, um, so hopefully it's not too much with the FIFA. <laughs> I know they have like the packs and everything, but, um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Hopefully the graphics are obviously will be better. See, the whole FIFA Street is a great idea, you know, come out with it. But I think it should be included in the FIFA 20. So you could p- pick between uh, FIFA Street or the regular FIFA. That'd be hold nice. on, hold on, hold on. Am I missing something? They're not together? No. I, no. I see here, okay. FIFA Street is back with FIFA 20's Volta Football. So I think it's together. They are? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, because I, I didn't see that. Are you willing to spend the money like now to grow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that, just, that, pre, that put pre-order. him on the fence. That put him on the fence. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get it now. <laughs> All right, guys. So check back for our live stream of FIFA Street. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would because you keep saying street, FIFA Street. Is that what is that what they're calling it? No, FIFA it's street? saying FIFA Twenty here. I keep calling it FIFA. Okay. I think that's just going to be a new. I mean, so far yeah, online, I've been just seeing FIFA Street. Yeah, because if it was like Street, like back in the oh. days, like PlayStation 2 era Street games, oh my god, that'd be a blast to have two different style games in one, but there's no way. Yeah, so I wonder if it's called Volta Football. I don't know. I just That's the thing is when I'm, when I'm putting together the notes and it's about FIFA, I'm just like real half-assed in that because it's I just something I'm not. So it's, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like it's not, I don't have any interest in it. 
No, I don't because I like it. When they're following <laughs> it up with Star Wars talk, then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, he's doing this movie. He's using, uh, da, 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 you know. Anyway, so it's whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get into Battlefield Five. They're coming out with some uh, with a, a new chapter, Chapter Five. Um, I'm really excited about this because it's going to the Western Front. We're going to see the Western Theater. And it's going to be the Americans and Japanese and their island hopping and stuff like that. It was a huge, massive war uh, here in America. We understand it really well. But um, the uh, sorry, just news popping up on Twitter. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, so but for a lot of the world, it, it was kind of a hush hush. It wasn't like a really publicized one because, of course, Normandy and everything like that. So now we're going to see the Western Front. I'm pretty excited about this. The settings going to be amazing, right? I mean, you're fighting on beaches and like, you know, Hawaii, sunny beaches and stuff like that. What do you guys think about this? Honestly, there's already a beach map and I honestly not a really big fan. Uh, uh, I play with my buddy, Joe Vera from work, mm -hmm. uh, Battlefield, and I, I'm so bored with that game. Like, I don't get how people still play that game. Are you good at well, it? I think because it's. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be. Yeah, I yeah. used to be decent uh, at it, but now I just like I'm trash. I think what a lot of people are playing is because it's not it's it's not the Call of Duty where you just run and gun. It's actually like um, objectives and whatnot. Yeah. Well, uh, wait up. Battlefield is right. all about camping. That's uh, all. Well, that's it's every about. game. That's what Call of Duty is too at this point. <laughs> Daniel, you camp all the time. Okay. Whatever. Upset. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, this is still, of course, ahead. Dice that's doing all this. Uh, one thing I'm excited about though is they're bringing in weapons, items, and vehicles. They were talking about some of the guns they're bringing in, and they remind me. And I know this is a different game. They remind me of the old Call of Duty Two guns that they're bringing in. Like Call yeah. of Duty Two, I could tell you by the way it was shot. Like that is a Car 98, or that's an M1 Grand. Like I used to be able to spot those guns by just their sound. And knew like okay, that means that he's gonna be able to do this range. I like, like I'm excited to care about that uh, shooter like that. Like Call of Duty Two, I cared about that much. I want to care about a game like that again, a shooter, you know. Well, that's like the Call of Duty. Um, what was that latest one that came out? Uh, World at War, or something. Like yeah, that? World at War. Yeah, there was that Call of Duty. Yeah, TV version. I mean that was cool. That was uh, I like that and. And now this is an expansion, right? So this is a story, or what are we getting out of this? Uh, this should be just maps, if I'm not mistaken, right? There's not like a big story, really. Battlefield's not known for their story, oh, so it's just, I think it's just uh, additional maps. I'm not really, yeah, I'm not really gonna be too interested in this then. So, yeah, I'm mean, if it would be cool with like a little mini campaign to it with some maps, yeah. that'd be neat. But other than that, whatever. It's just it sounds like I'm reading here on the article. It's just gonna be some uh, some additional maps from the Battle of Iwo Jima. Okay. Yeah. All right, next up, Apex Legends is uh, showing off some Season 2 stuff. We're getting uh, some a new weapon, a new legend named Watson, and a new way to play the game. So basically, they're adding ranked mode, and it's kind of like, why wasn't ranked mode around a long time ago? But whatevs. Um, with the new ranked mode, are you guys interested in playing Apex again? I know we pretty much all gave up on it. Uh, nope. Nope, not at all, Nick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Awfully, the, the cheaters in that game... And the people I play are just, dude. It's like cheaters are too skilled. Are they? Play. Are they Wait. cheaters or are they camping? <laughs> Hold up, you just told me you played PUBG last night. Oh, I know. so you obviously don't give a, a crap about me. cheaters. <laughs> like, oh no, no, if no. You're no, gonna no, play a game with cheaters. No, no. Might as well play. I'm not gonna one. play PUBG anymore. It was just like everybody got on Discord and they're like, "Hey, let's go back and play PUBG." Oh, okay. Like, it's like a one-off, like games. just missed the like, thing. Let's tweak on this game. No, it was just like be cool to play again and we did that was it i mean it's still shit game yeah. just like apex i really i'm but. interested in this new champ this watson she's uh she was like raised on the map so the idea is that she knows where everything's at and she has this ability to like put up these um fences and mm -hmm. she's really like a tactical player so she's got me pretty interested i i think i'm willing to give it a shot just to at least try her out and i know i can't rank up very high i think i'll at least dip my toe into like, that's one thing, like, when there's actually rankings, I do actually care just, like, a hair more. So, I think I might try it out. Squeaks, you're not going to give this a second ch uh, chance at all? No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> all, <I> <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then, yeah, the new weapon. I forget what it's called, but it's from Titanfall 2. Uh... So. Yay, I guess. All right. Next up, and the last thing for EA we're going to be talking about is Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order. We got a whole new bunch of new footage from that. They were on like the planet Kashyyyk, and uh, there we saw this big boss fight with an ATST. 
Uh, what did you guys think of this this gameplay footage that you saw? Joe, or Joe, squeaks. Oh, that's disrespectful. Oof. Daniel and you go now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, okay, so I watched a little bit of gameplay, and the, I thought the 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 kills were pretty neat. There was one move where he like for, used the force to pull him towards him, and then he stabbed him with the lightsaber. But that was neat. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels um, like they're trying to push those like cool moments. Yeah, and and then um, I like the um, where you would see him kind of like move the environment around with with the forest. I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. Other than that, um, with my issues with it is, uh, I wish some of the kills were a little bit more. I know you can't go too graphic. It's Star Wars. No, nobody's gonna see like blood everywhere and stuff. But I thought when I saw him like lightsaber someone, I thought I didn't see like the effects on that person's armor. I mean, oh, you, you know what? No, I I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have. I think I would have noticed it if I did see it. I think that. But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, no. when I saw that, when he, when I saw him like stab some, it really. It, I mean, well, I'm watching a, a little bit actually right now, and it's like give me some slashes on the armor or something. That would, that's like, a good I'm point. Not, I'm not seeing it. We're at the point um, now so where that's, that's a, that could be a standard, you know. So yeah, it's he. Uh, I'm, I'm watching some, and you see like you actually see a little bit, but there's some where you do like the big kills, like that forest kill, where like pull them towards him, yeah. and then um, whatever. But it's not hitting every single slash. It's some slashes you'll see a mark, some slashes you won't. It's like I really want to see that armor beat up. Yeah. Um, my second thing is the double jump looks super cartoony. Like use the force to lift yourself or do something. But I was like. What the? This is like the Banjo Kazooie over here. What the hell is going on? Like <laughs> on Twitter, we've been talking that, a lot about Banjo Kazooie, so it's funny that you bring. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Grief Burrito, shout out to it's them just... and Running Geek Podcast. We've talked Running Official Geek Podcast. We talk about them often, but on pod, on Twitter, we've been talking about how like we need to get Banjo Kazooie back, and like it's a whole thing. And then yeah, it's there is a little thing where they might be coming into Smash Brothers, so there's that. You know, that'd be amazing. Oh yeah. wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> that'd be epic. But yeah, there, there's rumors um, coming out of that. So, but I'm still. No matter what, excited for it. I'm gonna probably buy it right away. Um, did we see some characters from the movies in this gameplay? That uh, not it, and not at EA's, but at the Microsoft one, we saw. Um, oh goodness, I uh, Forrest Whitaker. We saw his character from Rogue One. Show that's up. right. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I saw. That's that's what I was like. Oh, I think that's him, but uh, I didn't. I didn't. You know know that for sure but i thought that's pretty neat because they're uh doing like what a canon so yeah call it's it? making it canon so we know like because of that we definitely know okay okay so it feels like a little bit before rogue one you know because he's we know what happens in rogue one um so yeah it to me my biggest complaint is everything felt so slow i was kind of like i just wanted to i wanted to like kill this stormtrooper then move fast kill that one and they're like oh there's three stormtroopers let me kill them all and then but it felt like he was like had time to do a finishing move on one while the other one's watching him do that and then he turns to him, mm. throws his lightsaber, and then he's like walks a little bit, turns the corner. There's a couple guys, and then he has like time to take one of them out each while the other ones watch, like a Steven Seagal movie. So it just <laughs> it felt kind of man. I mean, this is kind of slow. It it visually looks good, like the sur his surroundings looks good, like a chic level looked really nice. But I'm just kind of like man, move it up, pick it up a little bit, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Which is. I the, I'm the more I'm uh, looking at it, the, you do see some of the slashes on the armor, so I'm correcting myself. Okay, for oh, good catch, good you catch. know, a little bit, but it's not, it's not. I don't know. It just looks like you slapped it there. Even it's not detailed to me. Yeah. Like if I slash you a certain way, I want it to be uh, exactly like that. But whatever, I'm being picky, I guess, on that. I expect more. I Is, did they announce anything like. Uh, what system or anything like oh, that? Oh, it'll be on all of them. It'll be, it'll be yeah, it'll be on everything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, did you, what did you think about the stupid-ass fucking spiders? <laughs> I know I'm saying a lot of cuss words with that because what, what the <laughs> F? Like robot spiders? You didn't know this is when uh, Wild Wild West comes into Star Wars? They're, they're both canon together. You didn't know that? <laughs> in the galaxy oh, far, gosh. far away down in the south where they got mechanical spiders <laughs> and they're trying to make a land loveland or whatever, loveless or something. Oh, God. I haven't seen that movie so long. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't, yeah. To me, it was just like this is that's okay. I'm I'm not totally invested in this game as much as I thought I would be. So if you do some, I'm looking at a boss fight. Well, it kind of looks like a boss a boss fight. It's a little bit um, I don't know, a harder person to fight, I guess. Right. You, you got the slashing all over the boss, but then it disappears. Like that's super old school. That yeah, that feels very PS1, PS2 to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I I see what you're talking about. Super slow. Um, 
Yeah, I can see that because it's definitely feels slower than the Force uh, Force Unleashed. Yeah, just when I play a Jedi, I want to feel like a god. So like me make make me just my adrenaline move because I'm like going faster and faster and faster and faster. That's what I love playing a Jedi. When you're in Battlefront and you've got the Jedi abilities for a limited amount of time and you're just like oh, yeah, unleashing no. as much as you can, that's a Jedi to me. I like I think that's cooler than these like slow methodical basically mini cutscenes of me killing somebody. Well, you know, well, have you two played For Honor? I all? have not. No. Have you two girl? No. No. Okay. Have you seen it at all? I'm th- like, I own one it. One I, have, I haven't played it, though. I've seen it. Oh, man. Piece. I love that game. Yeah. Real quick. I love that game to death. Okay. But uh, that's pretty much what it feels like each person. But I shouldn't feel like that playing a Star Wars game. What that's, the F? Yeah. yeah. Daniel, what are your what are your thoughts? No. Sorry. Okay. So I'm watching a little trailer on it. And it looks clean. I don't like the camera, like how the camera is. And... The whole, you know, using the force, like you should be able to rip pipes from the walls and like smack yeah. them or do something, you know, like bring more environment to yeah. anything like that. Not just like I'm going to pick up this trash can that was placed here exactly. or, or yeah. one of those RD2, uh, the robots, like it should be more like you should be able to rip things out of the wall. Use your force. It feels that's another thing, too, is it feels very on rails and it feels like these items are here so that I could force them. There's one like door he breaks through that's like you could tell is like partially cracked open. Like, OK, you're clearly supposed to just like push this. But that just feels it feels like we're beyond this now. You know what I'm saying? Like this feels like such an old game. Yeah. I was talking about it on Twitter. I think it was with Kyle from uh, Pushing Buttons. But anyways, I was saying like this feels like the old prequel tie-in games. You know, when you're like, oh, episode two Clone Wars is out. I can go get the game that ties in with it. It was like a quickly uh, made game. Yeah, yeah. But they were still, they seemed fun, but they were fun. But they were like real quickly made. That's what this is feeling like to me. Yeah, the um, the Wookiee in it also looks horrible. Did you happen to see that Wookiee? Oh, all? yeah. It was just yeah, like... The, oh, my God. What the hell? Yeah. But anyway, um, but going back to the kills, I think the kills are pretty neat uh, again. Uh, did you see... The, I don't know if you saw the one where it looks like the, he went in slow motion while there was like a laser firing, and then he, then he pulled the trooper to him and then moved him in front of that laser. I don't know uh, if you saw that. I didn't see that, no. But that does sound amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, sounds like a does, fatality. It, Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the kills are pretty neat. Um, okay. But, yeah, it does feel like if there's a mob of troopers, I'm still 1v1 everyone I look at. Right. So, right. You know. All right, guys. Any... Well, I'll probably pre-order. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I know. I know. I'll be playing it pretty, pretty early on. Uh, anything else you guys want to mention about the EA conference? I didn't like the way they presented um, things. To me, it wasn't. It wasn't E three. Like it was like very like oh outdoorsy festival we're having. It felt yeah, very cheap. I just did not care for it at all. Like you're freaking EA. You're one of the namestays. You your name is gaming. Like you guys should be. You're one of the big dogs out there. Bring it, man. Don't like make some cheap like festival at some no name college or something like that. That's what it looked like to me. You know, that's just whatever. It's just so yeah, you're right. You know that with the college, like college football preview. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh you're right though. I know a lot of people talk crap on EA for multiple reasons, but they are this huge company. So why not, like you said, bring it instead of this little ass I don't know, I don't know what they're yeah. doing. But it's like you're EA and you only bring like four or five games. Like what the four hell? or five games they had like it's like they try to do multiple hosts but they were down two of them so they had like one host move to do the other thing and like it's just i don't know it was very poorly done and i you know we're, we'll get to xbox here next but i felt one thing i liked about xbox right away we had like the 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 infamous now at this point we're like world premiere and then like they would do the new trailer like oh, okay this is e3 this is i just kind of like i look forward to this every year and yeah, people could say like, oh, it's just the same old, same old over and over again. But it's like, but they're just, they're delivering pure content. They're not giving me a bunch of filler. There's not this host that's sitting there just like, that was great, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I even tweeted like, dude, this guy's so hyped about this game. I don't care how hyped you are. Tell me about this game. Like, I don't care that you're excited to see some Jedi crap. Show me it, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I, I understand with the if it's old or you see it every year, but I want it like with the world premiere and how it's all the same every year. That's okay. Cause that's what I want to see every year. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm tuning it's in. It's only once a year. Let me enjoy this. It's yeah. funny. Cause that's what I want to we'll, see. We'll, we'll move into Xbox right now then. Uh, but before we mm-hmm. do that, there was a quick little Stadia thing that came out. We'll go ahead and do that tomorrow because it was kind of off the radar and on the side. Uh, we did get a little bit of details. Boulder's gate three is actually going to be coming out with them. So to grow, 
Woo-woo. Yeah. And uh, we know like there will be a version that's at 129. There's this like founders pack. There's all kinds of weird shady stuff. But we'll go into Stadia stuff tomorrow with the Ubisoft uh, conference coming out. So we'll package those two together. But on to Xbox. And we had a whole bunch of announcements. To me, they're the ones that really carried these first two days. Um, let's talk. <laughs> let's. Talk, I, wanna, I really want to know the first one you want to talk okay. about. Before um, we get into that, I do want to make sure to <laughs> clear things up. I am an Xbox fanboy. Proud yeah. of it. And Squeaks, Sony all, the, all day. We respect the other console, of course. But yes, we respect each other. But I, I I do have a bias, so I'm not gonna lie. So first off, Xbox One E3 already, and uh, they bought a company called well, they're, they're they basically uh, consumed a company, whatever you want to call it, Double Fine Productions. They did Psychonauts. They're doing Psychonauts too. Um, this is cool. This makes 15, 15 developers they control now. So, what do you guys think mm-hmm. about Microsoft picking up a lot of these smaller companies that do like indie games and stuff like that? I mean, I think it's pretty smart because you never know one of these indie games becomes the next big thing. It's Minecraft, just like, yeah. Um, my one, yeah, Minecraft for sure. And now you, we'll get into that. But now you see like they're making <laughs> yeah. another game, but we'll get into that. But it's like I remember one of my favorite arcade games, um, just real quick on top of my head, was Castle Crushers. And it's oh, like, yeah. you never know. That's a good one. That game's amazing. I would love to have them have a number two. So I think it's smart for them. Even if it tanks, oh, well, it's just a little indie game. You could just – it's just on digital download. It's just not like it's really – I don't know the budget they're costing for that, but you, know, you never know when they make the next big thing. Look at uh, Cuphead. Cuphead's a freaking almost like a family name now when you own an Xbox. Yeah, and that's one thing I really liked about mm. the Xbox, you know, business plan and their environment that they're creating is is they're really pushing like this E3 especially heard like okay we got streaming guys, new console coming up. Don't worry about those two things. Over here we have big fat AAA titles that you, we want to make sure you guys get from us and we want to make as many games with as many different creators as possible and the idea is that we want to be the one providing you guys with all these games like they're trying to be this big large encompassing video game like content provider and less about like here's our Xbox here's the games for this is Xbox alone that's it and we really kind of felt them stretch that and so with them picking up all these small developers it's just another way of getting these titles to everything so you can imagine with Psychonauts, they're pushing this new streaming service, right? Well, Psychonauts, are not, it's like Xbox One. It'll be on Windows 10. You can play it on your Mac, your Linux. You know, you can play it on everything. And it's supposed to be coming out for PS4, although it is now owned, you know, through Microsoft. Um, but you can stream it eventually on your phone, your tablet. I mean, it'll be everywhere. So it's it's just like, yeah, I'm going to go to Microsoft for a lot of my games. They have the Game Pass, and there's a lot of improvements to that coming up. So yeah, I'm down for them buying companies. Did you sign? Did you sign up for um, Xbox Unlimited today? I have not. No. Did you? That's cool. Well, yes, I did. It's only for a dollar, yeah. so it'll extend your current membership. Oh, okay. So I jump. That's up. what I needed to check, is if it extends my current. Because I'm currently on yeah. this, like, because you know how I am. I go for the dollar, cancel, wait for them to give me that new deal again. Then I, yeah, I'm <laughs> playing it, guys. I got all the tricks over here. But yeah. Well, this one will extend it. So I had a Game Pass membership and I had a Xbox Live membership. So I combined it, added another more months to it. And I'm good with both of them till like uh, I think 2022. Yeah. Uh, January. So for a dollar, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So what we're so let's talk about Game Pass next. Uh, we have Xbox Game Pass for the PC now. That's gonna be 4.99 if you wanted that alone. There will be exclusively PC titles on there and some titles for both games uh great example of this we've mentioned in the past is i play sea of thieves because of game pass i love sea of thieves and and it's on xbox and it's on pc i've never actually played it on xbox I've only played it on pc but um yeah so so now there's that 499 you guys can get game pass for that i know we sound like big shields for it but we are uh and now you were talking about the ultimate one that's 1499 normally comes with game pass game pass for pc and xbox live gold Yep. I mean, it's basically everything you wanted on your online game or Xbox stuff. So, yeah, it's worth the worth the upgrade. Plus, they give you the two free games a month, which we're always telling you guys what to get there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And we're going into their streaming service. They're bringing this thing called uh, the. Let me find. I always have it. The Project X Cloud. They know how to name things, guys. I'm just they just really really good at naming things. <laughs> um, and this is the one that's going to let you stream onto your tablet, your phone any computer or any tv stuff like that they're, they're really trying to push it out there you could stream onto your computers which we've talked about this before with the stadia stuff it means you, ha- you don't need such a powerful gaming system anymore you can kind of go low-key 
Um, if you went to E3, I really wish I, I wish I could have gone this year. But anyways, if you went to E3, you were able to stream Halo Five, Hellblade, um, and there's one other I can't remember. I don't have it in my notes. But anyways, you're able to play Xbox One games on your phone while you're there at E3. They had the XCloud set up. Yeah, yeah that's that's actually, that would be. Yeah. Could you imagine if you're like. Like we've all been to conventions. Daniel, you, you and me went to BlizzCon last year. Like if we were like, all right, yeah, let's go sit, let's go sit down, and then we could sit down and we could try out the new patch for World of Warcraft. It's like you know they always have like demos for a while. Yeah, you're able to try it while you're sitting there eating like a sandwich in the in the food court. Like that'd be amazing. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, this is the future of gaming, guys. So uh, more streaming, the better. Really, I think it's a better way to spread the content, and uh, it's going to be more cost effective for us. We get to pay less for the whole game a lot of times it's subscription base and we don't have to have such beefy systems i have a very heavy computer over here and you guys have even heavier ones so this is a way around all that i'm i'm down with it you guys are looking forward to streaming uh, yeah and no like i i don't know i'm happy with my pc like i don't need to stream games onto like a mobile device like i could just wait till i get home and play on my pc yeah like, if I go somewhere, you know, like, let's say if I go on vacation to Disneyland, I'm not going to want to stream any games, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> for me, I'm not really, I don't really care. I'm not really a console person. So, what, now, what squeaks is different. yeah, yeah, so I think it'd be neat for the instance that you said, uh, Frank, when it comes to, if you're at a convention, you're like, like, say, just we were at E3 and like, oh, we could try this out. I could just play with it a little bit and do whatever. Yeah. Other than that, like my Switch, I'm not a on the go person with my Switch. If I bought it traveling, I'll bring it with me and I might play it in a hotel room, but I don't play it very long unless I'm that bored. Now, if I'm on vacation, like Daniel was saying, definitely I don't even touch it. Like, why would I? Yeah. Um, uh, I like the idea. I pretty pretty much you got me with the idea that you said it'd be cool to be like, hey, you could play. What were the things that said that we could play? Well, like it um, was I it was Halo think. Five and a few other things, but Halo Five was like the big one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be like, okay, I'm definitely going to check out Halo 5, what, sit down for a minute and check this out, you know, but that's a, I don't know. I just don't play really games on the go like that. All right, here's here's how I'm going to sell it to both of you guys. You guys just both okay. upgraded your computers recently, right? Okay, yes, so yes. the life of your computer starting now, four to five years, right? Realistically, for the games yeah. we play, four to five years, four to five. Now... What if the games you were playing on your computer as they advanced, your computer didn't need to advance with them? So your computer didn't need to be cutting edge because really your computer just needs to be able to stream. So it needs to handle Microsoft Office, uh, your Spotify, and streaming, which your computer can handle for a very long time. So now you just extended the life of your computer, saving yourself money on the long run. Does that interest you guys anymore? Okay, so then that changed it to where I'm just streaming in my home, right? Yeah, you're. So the idea is you're okay. streaming it onto your computer. So that's yeah. okay then. Yeah, because I'm I'm okay with that. That I'm totally fine with that. I'm just thinking like Daniel started yeah. talking about like well, because that is a big part of it, really but that's like in. that's like almost a uh, side effect. It's almost like a gimmick of it. Like oh yeah, you can play on your phone, but like realistically, if, they keep using Assassin's Creed when they talk about Stadia. So we'll just use that now, although that's not going to be that's not the Xbox One. Anyways, so say you're playing. Assassin's Creed, like you're going to go hardcore on your computer or on your TV with the, the Chrome yeah. or whatever. Um, but say you're just like, man, I really got to get some more attempts on this boss. I can't get this guy down. I'll give some attempts while I'm having lunch at work. So you're on your lunch break and it's just like, mm -hmm. I got to get this down. I got to keep practicing. Got to keep practicing. Or like, say you're playing a game where you got to farm up XP. Like I'm going to farm up XP while I'm at work. And then when I come home, I'll have enough potions to try to fight the final boss when I'm on the controls I actually like. So it's kind of like, it's almost making a companion app that's a cool companion app. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, do you think... Um, so how would that work to where, okay, now you don't need a hardcore PC or a console or whatever the heck. What does it do? Just dumb it down and everything? Or how does that well, work? Well, it streams it to you. So the all the, the load is being done by processors at Microsoft H HQ. So they're the ones that are doing like... Like say they had, they had like a Mortal Kombat fight scene going on. They're showing that off. So... The two characters fighting is actually happening at a console somewhere else, but you're streaming it, so you're just watching the video. So, like, say that your computer is sitting at Microsoft HQ, but the monitor is in your house, and the other monitor is at your friend's house. So that's so all the work's being over there. They're just streaming the video to you. You understand? Yeah, 
I just, I don't know. I just want, I guess I would want to see how fluid it looks. That's oh, all. yeah. Yeah. And you can see like Stadia yeah. is putting out a lot because they're really pushing this. So they're putting out a lot of content where they're showing like, oh, look at, we're playing Assassin's Creed and you could swipe it and they're like showing it like, this is what it looks like on an iPhone. This is what it looks like on an, on an iPad. This is what it looks like on your PC. This is on your TV. So yeah. they're, they're like really kind of showing off everything. 35 megabytes per second for like surround sound, you know, a 4K or whatever. And then uh, down to like 10 megabytes per second for 720. So it's done not too bad. Um, but yeah, so pretty good. It's, it's going to be interesting. It's definitely the future gaming. It's going to be pretty intense. All right. Next up, we also got an advanced controller, the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2. Uh, it's got like, includes 30 new improvements and all this fun stuff. I'm not going to go over all that. Uh, I do like the fact it has a 40 hour rechargeable battery life. Are you guys going to buy this controller? Before we get started, hold on. No. Price? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Guess what the price is for this thing? $175. Okay, well, you must have cheated. It's $179. Oh no! I just guessed it because I compared it to the la I compared it to the last one, which I thought was a joke. 150 bucks for a controller? Get out of my face! Yeah, with isn't that. that nuts? 180 bucks for a oh controller? That thing better give me like platinums. Well, no, that's Sony. Hmm. Never mind. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> coming out November 4th. Xbox, here. Xbox <laughs> freak over here. Uh, one. I can see buying it and then being trash at every game I play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it. My game How am I not getting any chicken dinners in PUBG with this thing? It's broken. <laughs> uh, I do like that it is. They're fully embracing the idea that it could be used on your PC as well. Um, I'm hoping that this thing for that price better work on the next system. Uh, which, by the way, we'll go into that. Nice segue, Frank. Is Project Scarlet. That's the new Xbox system. They did not show much off about it, just saying that it's got fat new processor, fat new this, fat new that. Um, I'll give you some of the fancy words they used. First off, it's got a Zen 2 and Radeon RDNA architecture from our partners at AMD. So they're using AMD. That's nothing new. Uh, it's just very cost effective, and that's the way I like to go anyways. And uh, they got this GDDR6 memory. Uh, they're using a new solid state. It, it's basically, it's real fancy, guys. Real super powerful. Uh, the processor alone is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X, which is, you know, top notch. Yeah, it pisses me off. And <laughs> I know it does. And then... Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to get, I can't, I can't wait to talk shit on this right now. I was pissed off the whole time listening 8K to it. 8K <laughs> compatible, so they're ready for the future of television. Uh, it sounds like amazing. Everybody needs to own it. Squeaks, shoot it down. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, I will. So, since you said the AK and they're waiting for the future, yeah, yeah sure, okay. I'm sure they'll give us another fucking console right before they... God, man, they came out with three, three different consoles already. So, while I'm watching this video, I was getting so irritated because of how much advanced that they went compared to the X. The X is not that old. And that was like, oh, this is the future of gaming. And then it's like, oh, cool, I'm, I'm jumped in. The Xbox X looks great. I was playing some Red Dead on it. It looks really good compared to the PlayStation. And then fucking next year it's like oh we got the future of gaming bitch I'm, i thought i was in the future of <laughs> <Nope>. gaming <laughs> no man God. what you are uh, xbox one came out what five six years ago you just yeah, put a fancy yeah. spoiler on that bitch it was still this we were using more profanity in this episode than we have in a long time i'm just saying <laughs> we're, angry. we're heated it's e3 time. folks <laughs> um but yeah so they just put some fancy rims and a spoiler on the old xbox one it's still an xbox one the frame is still the xbox one you can't upgrade the frame and i'm using car analogies in a geek podcast this should work well but <laughs> this is rebuilding the whole car you just bought a whole new model you went from jeep to ferrari bam and so I'm excited for this. I did like that Xbox came out, Microsoft came out and said like, hey, look, we heard you guys loud and clear. You want a system that's de designed for gaming, not for everything else, which was their like motto for the last two decades. So boom, here's an Xbox system that's all power. It's a little weird because they're also pushing the cloud processing thing. So you're kind of like, you guys are giving me a reason to not need an Xbox Project Scarlet and you're giving me a Project Scarlet. So it's kind of weird, but... I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think it's crazy that they're coming out with a real powerful system when they're also pushing streaming to grow? What do you think? <laughs> I really, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I don't really know anything about these X, this new Xbox. Well, 
I think they want this powerful console with the stream because then it's like, okay, you never have to worry about any issues with streaming. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's exactly it. I think they're like, okay, this is going to shut down anybody who tells us, uh, hey, I live out in the country. I don't have that kind of internet. We're like, that's fine. If you want to play in like the supreme high def and you're only at the 10 megabyte fra- phase, boom, the, you know, you could you could do this, this or this. You know, I don't even know. We don't know anything about this console other than how powerful it is. We don't know if it has a disc tray yet. We don't even know what color it is. I, they were showing like these like white things. I was like, oh, they're going to go with a cool like launch white color. I'm cool with that. No, it was just the lettering of Scarlet. So I was like, okay, well, let down. Well, didn't the last Xbox come out and it was, didn't have a disc Originally, but digital. then a bunch of like fan hatred basically came out and they're like, okay, yeah, th- we'll throw a Blu-ray player on this thing. And it came out later on. No, I'm not. Wait, are you talking about the Xbox One or you're the, talking about the, the white one? one. Oh, yeah, you're talking right. about that just you're came right, out. You're right. That one doesn't have a disc That's tray. correct. That's correct. You're right. So, I mean, I honestly, I could see it not having a disc tray. Because back then, I was always like, I need I need the disc. I always Same, need yeah. that hard copy. But now I got into PC and I'm like, you know what? I'm down for digital. And I don't have enough space yeah. to put all my, my movies, my games. So I'm just like, eh. I'll just go digital unless it's like a game that I really like, like Final Fantasy X. Or, hey, uh, uh, can I get some breaking news out real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII released, uh, is going to be released this winter, um, late 2019 or the first quarter of 2020. All right, there we go. You guys heard that breaking news yeah. right now. This is going to be released yeah. in the morning, so it will be less breaking Squeaks, while we're talking, (laughs) tweet that out. Put in Geek Freaks Pod on that. So follow us on Twitter, guys. We are growing quickly on the on the Twitters uh, at Geek Freaks Pod. So yeah, good news. Um, Okay, yeah, but that's the thing. To agree, you brought a good point. We're all three PC gamers. So like, while I am going to own an Xbox, and I love like some Halo and stuff like that, I I I, we kind of laugh at like these fancy numbers are thrown out there. It's like, guys, I have a computer that outdoes anything you guys are putting out right now. And if you guys do actually put out a big upgrade like this GDR6, DDR6, uh, something like that, like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll just put that in my computer or upgrade to that at some point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It kind It's kind yeah. of hard because I think there's a lot of people that are out there and a lot of them are like, okay, these are great, but PC is the way to go all the day. I don't know. I'm still going to buy an Xbox, of course. I want to know the price. Honestly, yeah. I just want to know the price. For it. What? I feel like it's going to be close to like... I, it's got it has to be close to like eight hundred dollars. No, dude, Sony tried that before. It, I don't think it will, man. I don't know. I think I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's yeah. gonna go five because the, you're you're getting. I think I agree. I think it's gonna go five because then you're getting to the PC exactly. type prices, and they don't want to. They don't want to stick. With, they don't want to. I with think that. I think Microsoft's new motto is like, "Hey guys, we know that you guys have PCs. You guys like to play on. This is the PC for your TV," and so that's why they're really pushing like. The components inside all it sounds like they're talking about computer specs and i think this idea is like this is just the computer for your, your tv it's an extra computer and boom here you go like i think that's what's going on personally i think that's what's going on mm. all right let's get into some games uh they came out with a lot of games 60 games they said they're they're pushing out there i'll just kind of name off a couple age of empires the definitive edition you guys play the old age of empires I yes sir I, I haven't played that in so long my my uh, buddy pete frucci what up, Pete? Been a long time since I've seen you. Anyways, uh, he sh- he introduced me to this game. It was a blast back in the day. So I, I think I'm going to try this out. It's coming with Game Pass. So, I mean, why not, right? Well, yeah. Uh, well, I don't have Game Pass. Uh, I don't know if I'll try it $1. out. $1. But I did. I used to play those games all the time. I used to love those Now, games. they were multiplayer, correct? Yes, sir. All right, man. Uh, one, for sure, number three. $1 and we can play together. This is number two, Definitive Edition. So, it's number two that they're doing, but... I think it oh, is. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, one dollar man, you and me, we could play together. So we could we could figure this out. Uh yeah, I'm down. Down, man. Battletoads coming out on Xbox One. It will also be game basically most of these are game pass. Um Battletoads. You guys play the old Battletoads? Oh hell yeah. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I think you probably would have recognized, especially like the way you used to travel on the like speeder bikes yeah. or whatever. That to me is what I remember the most. Uh Squeaks, you've played this. Are you excited for the new Battletoads? I actually am, because then it's just kinda like the um is it, get back into the side scroll games yeah. just fun fighting kind of like i just mentioned earlier like castle crushers yeah so i think we need to uh see this again i like the animation on it it looks really uh cartoony back yeah. in the day cartoony. The animation's what kind of caught my uh, attention yeah it's kind of it's kind of like the animation to the point okay like cuphead you're like oh my gosh what is this this looks amazing right. 
Uh, hopefully, it's not as hard as Cuphead. But uh, there's a but, there's uh, a game coming up that was like Unreal Animation. I couldn't believe it. Um. So yeah, I think this is a fun game. I mean, I would pay like a fifteen twenty dollar market. Yeah. Downloadable marketplace, whatever, right? But I don't know what, what the price is. It'd probably be about twenty bucks, I'd assume. You know, about you know. yeah. Uh, next yeah. up, we're going in alphabetical order, by the way. Okay, this game. When I was watching the thing for it, I was like, "This feels like Blair Witch." Hmm. Oh my gosh, what is? It's going- a Blair Witch I'm video game, shot- guys. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I don't know what like. It, I'm kind of excited for it, but then I kind of suck at the Outlast game, so I don't know what's it going to be like. Is it going to be just like an Outlast game? Dude, I, I don't know, but I was it it just it looks good. I mean, I think I'm going to be I've got to see more about it, but the little trailer like they made sure to do the video camera thing and then like it looks like yeah. there's a time difference thing going on. I think I'm going to have to check this out. Yeah, I think I will too. Did you check out Blair Witch? Are you interested in this? I know you're the horror no. gamer as well. I am, but I, I'm not into like stuff like that. I'm scared. <laughs> so like playing Resident Evil, uh, the Resident Evil Two, the remake. Yeah. Oh my god, it was it was a struggle. Like I'd only play it for like an hour and a half, and I was like, okay, gotta take a break. So I don't think I'll be able to play that game. It looks way too scary. It looks good, yeah. but scary. I, I haven't played. I'll admit I'm not much of a scary gamer. I. You know, I'm like, uh, I, you know, I like anxiety from like trying to go faster and better myself. Not so much. Ooh, but <laughs> Bioshock one was amazing. And that one was, at the time was scary. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, Bleeding Edge. Uh, real yeah. quick. I'm real quick. I'm excited for it for I do like the horror games and yeah, I'm not the, always the best at it, but give me a horror game. And this kind of reminded me of it, too, is like the old school um, original Xbox Fatal Frames. If you two remember yeah, that. that sounds familiar. Uh, yeah. Fatal yeah, it's where you like take a picture of the ghost, but you can only see him through the camera, or whatever. Oh, yeah. So oh. it kind of reminded me of that for a little bit because when he held up the tape recorder, you see like the dog and the person yeah. or whatever, but you didn't see it like in front of you. So I thought, I mean, I don't know if that was supposed to be that or if it was an old recording. I don't know where it went with that, but I just thought about it real quick. I think that's going to be a big part of it is like always controlling how much you could use the camera to see through it, you know? So we'll see. That might be good. All right. Uh, Borderlands 3. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looks like a big fun co-op game. I don't think I'll be getting it right away. Uh, by the way, Borderlands Handsome Collection's coming to Game Pass. That just came out to Game Pass. Good time to try out Borderlands. It's a fun game. Um, really good world building. And I'm always a big fan of world building. So anyways, Borderlands 3 by 2K. Are you guys going to be getting this? Um, I, I never got the, the other ones. Never. Luckily, really you're Canada. getting Game Pass already to grow. We've established that. Or Daniel. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you Damn, try to. Daniel, why are you on a gaming podcast and your every answer is like, I never played that game. <laughs> <laughs> I never played that game. But in his defense, I if we start talking about World of Warcraft, kid knows what he's talking about. Like, yeah. <laughs> like shit heals anyway so i don't think I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah uh i don't think this is what i said from the beginning when i first um saw borderlands 3 uh i'll pass for the reason that it looks like borderlands 2 so i don't really care i mean i don't know yeah, yeah it's I'll, I'll give it a shot but i'm not gonna wait i'm not i'll get it with game pass if it becomes on game pass or if it's very cheap i'll give i'm not gonna like but isn't there supposed to be like a million different guns in that game or yeah. something? Yeah, and there's one of them that walks. That's the selling point to me. That's I want to see this walking gun. That's it, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, Crossfire X. It's a free-to-play first-person shooter. Um, Give no shits. Yeah. It looks stupid. Yeah, I have to agree with you, honestly. <laughs> I, I had to interrupt. No, I, dude, I was kind of on that same vibe. So let's talk about the <laughs> biggest disappointment of last E3 to this E3, Cyberpunk 2077. Give me some damn gameplay already. I just want to play this game. I'm yeah. tired of how awesome it looks for a movie. I feel like I'm watching uh, with Fifth Element or something like that. I want to actually get in this game. What are your guys' thoughts on what we did see? We saw a little trailer. What did you guys think? There was... Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to interrupt again. <laughs> Cutting yep. out the end of that trailer. Don't consider the end of the trailer because that takes okay. away a lot of it. The rest of the yeah. trailer, what did you guys think of the Cyberpunk Squeaks? Go for it. Um, I'm ex- I'm still excited. F- okay, so I'm excited but for it, but not excited because we haven't. Did we get a date first before I keep going? Yes. Yeah. What's the date? Uh, 2020, right? Yeah, it's 20 May 16, 2020. Okay. 
So there's one thing I'm not excited for because now you give me this long ass day with already and how many E3s you've announced it now? I guess yeah, last, last year, year maybe yeah. only. But still. So it looks amazing. It's like, damn, I wish I was in like in this. I wish this was a movie, to yeah. be honest. But knowing that this is what I could be get into as a video game and be in that role, that's super what I would love because of the last movie I watched that was cyberpunkish was um Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett jo- I still Johansson. See that. Yeah. It's really good with the cyberpunk stuff, so okay, I get excited okay. for that. I mean, I enjoy that um, that that type of world, um, but for it to still not show any gameplay is a worrisome. I know they did show ga- some gameplay back, like right after the last E three, they did like a live stream of it. But we okay. haven't seen like the one of the big selling points of this game is it's all so vertical. Like instead of you know you can go wide, but it's all about going up and down in these buildings. I want to see you be able to do this. I want to like I just man, just give me more of this game. It's crazy how excited I am for a game that I know so little about. First person, okay, True. boom, that's yeah. pretty much, you know, and, you know, that's about it. All right, now, the cool ending to this trailer was Kiana freaking Reeves. That was mind-blowing. Oh, man, I got to tell you, I was, like, super down on this thing. Then we see Keanu Reeves comes out. He actually comes out on stage, addresses everybody. Yeah, cool. John Wick is going to be in yeah. Cyberpunk. Are you guys pumped for this? Daniel, you first. What do you think? Honestly, I'm excited for this game. <laughs> I, I, He's like pent up this whole time while we're talking. <laughs> hey, you know what? I like that actor. Keanu Reeves is a course, badass yeah. actor. He played in Speed. You know, he played all those uh, John Wick movies. I just love that that's your first and reference in Speed. <laughs> Look at Speed. Speed. Come oh. on, guys. Maybe not the most that's one of the legendary franchise ever, The Matrix, but okay. You know, hey, cool. hey, hey. That's like the first movie I actually seen him in. Okay, yeah, yeah fair, but, fair. Mine was Bill and Ted. Matrix? I, I like Matrix. <laughs> Good movies. Come on. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah, we haven't seen gameplay, but just, like, the trailers that we have seen, just the everything inside the world looks really beautiful, too. So I'm really excited about it. I'm actually going to buy this game when it comes out. Yeah, I think I think, I think this is going to be one of the few games yeah, that I know, lot. dude. I know. It's crazy because normally I'm like, I'll just wait for it's on sale. I'll wait for all the reviews you get through, get past the review bombs, get into real reviews. This is a game yeah. that I'm going to actually go buy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I, uh, I'm with you on that as well because I really want to be in that room. Yeah. And that's that's pretty much what's going to pull me no matter what. But then it's like, okay, how much of Keanu Reeves are we going to get? You know, is it just like I, a character that you walk with? Is it just a little cut scene with him in it? You know, It can't be much because they're trying to build a brand new game. So unless they're going to pay Keanu yeah. Reeves for every one of those video games that come out within the future, he's probably going to be your Oracle. Huh? Yeah, you like that Matrix. That's yeah. cool. He's yeah, going to be your cool. Oracle setting you up, I think. And so I'm pretty <laughs> down with that. Couldn't be better timing because we just had John Wick 3 come out, which is badass. And then we get into this. So he's yeah. he's pretty hot right now. Oh. So that's pretty cool. One thing, is he – he's not John Wick in this. I'm just being clear because you guys keep saying John Wick. He's not John Wick in this No, game, but he? if he was, then I okay. would go to GameStop right now and pre-order this thing. <laughs> like, Yeah, yeah so I would too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, next up, Dragon Ball Z Kakarakot. Uh, Kakarotot. Uh, there you go. Kakarot. I was purposely Kakarot. messing it up because I knew you guys would know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I have zero opinion on this. I just don't know. I don't know Dragon Ball Z. So is this good? I'm actually excited for it because it's a it's a it's an action RPG. Yeah. So it's not gonna be like the other, like Mortal Kombat style games that it's just like get into a match and fight somebody. It's actually like you're flying around and doing uh, tasks. Like I think you're finding Dragon Balls and then other things, and then all of a sudden you'll run into. Um, Raditz, and then it's like you and Piccolo fighting. So <laughs> it looks really good, and I'm excited I need to for watch. it. It sounds like Spanish. I gotta watch this show because there's a guy uh, named Piccolo. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I've been just trying so hard not to interrupt you. I fucking do not want to see this game. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Dragon Ball Z. I'm just bringing it back a little bit. Dragon Ball Z Fighters was an amazing. Dragon Ball Z game because you're like um, you were saying the Mortal Kombat style was super the animation of it was exactly like an anime and the fighting was fun kind of like a little like okay I could button mash a little bit but it was still fun now you're literally bringing me the same effing story you do every single Dragon Ball Z game and then you mix up the gameplay a little bit I don't give a shit I, I've seen Dragon Ball Z I've played Dragon Ball Z games like 20 different times the same story I don't give a shit about it no more like 
you gotta like that's why I like fighters the fighter Z that just came out prior to this more because it was literally a fun fighting game. I don't need the same shit over and over. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's what I this do. is. I it's, actually am excited for I hope, it. Like I don't care for those fighting games. Yeah. Like the whole Mortal Kombat like Mortal Kombat, I don't understand why people Best fighting game about that game. Years. I'm just like it's boring. It's it's legit just boring. To me. I mean, if you understand yeah. the uh, combos and are good yeah. at it, like I said, boring, boring game. <laughs> There's nothing to. I it. hope this does well, this just giant. so that we can get action. R- well, if it does well, then we'll get action RPG. <laughs> no, well, well. We'll get more animes into this kind of genre. So while I may okay. not be a Dragon Ball Z fan, I am a you know Full Metal Alchemist fan, a uh, Inuyasha fan. I would like to see more video game content from those properties. Okay, then Frank, put it this. Put it this way: that Jump Force game with all the animes and the fighting yeah. on it, right? It had horrible reviews. This is going to be the Dragon Ball Z story with that style, guarantee but, it. No, but it's a different gameplay, fully. One's a fighting. I don't. Well, think one's so. a fighting game. One's action I RPG. Some, well, I think I don't think this is as much action RPG as it is. It, it is. is. They they, they it's, it's it was in the trailer. That's they're saying like. Yeah. I don't know. I saw it some almost basically said like, like "Trust us, guys, not fighting game action RPG." <laughs> like it was in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Actually, said action RPG. <laughs> I will say I have to see more. Yeah, I hope it does well, just because I want more in that genre. Negative Nancy. Negative Nancy oh boy, that if for Daniel to call you Negative Nancy, you are one a negative <laughs> a Nancy. All right, we have Dying Light Two from Techland. You guys played Dying Light One? I did. How'd you like it? Uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, the the what do you call that? Park parkour, yeah, with the zombies and stuff. It was fun. It was kind of like uh, you know how you play, it, which we'll talk about later. Doom, where you're kind of running around and killing yeah. them. It's kind of like that, like jumping over buildings, jumping over fences, stuff like that. You get cool little weapons to kill them. Okay. But uh, I think I'm kind of excited for this Dying Light 2. All right, all right, all right. So that sounds good. <clears throat> all right, so Dying yeah. Light 2 is coming out. We got another game by Bandai Namco Entertainment. This this is like the smallest, least uh, yeah. information trailer ever that I've been so excited for because they said that George R. R. Martin worked on it. Uh, Elden Ring. We have nothing for this. I just don't. It's just some dude hammering, and I'm the whole time, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I kind of gotta like see this, but uh, that's dumb. Uh, any thoughts on this? There's not a lot to have a thought on. You said this was by Bandai. Bandai. Yeah, also? Bandai Namco. Yeah. Oh wow, because I know they were doing that. Uh, the other anime looking one they announced too, so they must have been there twice then. Bandai. Yeah. Um, but um. Man, I don't know how, but I'm kind of excited for this too. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so I'll just read this little thing by it. Uh, developed by From Software, Inc., and Bandai, yada, yada, yada. Elden Ring is a fantasy action mm-hmm. RPG adventure uh, set within a world created by Hadatsuka Miyansky, which he's the one that does uh, Solid Snake, right? Hadatsuka? No, that's oh, Kojima. Kojima. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, creator of... Oh, man, Daniel's going to be I know. Pissed. Somebody went to go get a beer. <laughs> okay. Uh, creator of uh, <laughs> the influential Dark Souls oh. games. So, I'm you know, Dark Souls games. Okay, so I'm getting that vibe. I just want a great story. Uh, get me hooked man. into story-wise. I haven't played any of that Dark yeah. Souls uh, or any of that kind of game. So, this would be a good Fourier for me into it. But Okay. So, is it... Oh, man. If it's going to be like Dark Souls game, you're not going to like it, man. Because you're not even going to get to know the story. You won't even get past the first boss. <laughs> first off, <laughs> of the three of us, I have smashed my face against the same kind of boss in, in video games before more than any of you guys. I have over 300 pools on bosses. So I think I'm going to know that story quite well. I might replay it just to get a recap. <laughs> Moving on. Forza Horizon uh, 4, you bastard. I did. I, well, first roll back. I did like the little... The little guy that was holding up, I don't know, where the fuck that was, an arm or something? What that was, was kind of cool, that yeah. That was a cool imagery, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't know what it means, so but mean. that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited They for flashed it. George R. R. Martin on there, I'm like, okay, where do I pre-order this thing at? Pre- yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings guy. <laughs> oh, don't, don't do that kidding. to me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I didn't know I had that. I didn't know I had that that nerve. Okay, now I know where that, that, that nerve exists. <laughs> I, I had to. I had That's to. one of those things like, oh man, I hate Star Trek and all the Wookiees. It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So for, Forza Horizon 4 now has this Lego Speed Champions expansion. Uh, I haven't played a Forza ever since they've... Okay, so 
Forza back when I played it was all about like fine tuned perfection driving. Like it was more of a driving simulator, less of just a fun racing game. Like I'm a big burnout fan, except for the new burnout sucks. Anyways, I own it, but it's terrible. Anyways, but the horizon games apparently are like all about having fun. This one really amps that up. I'm kind of interested in trying this out because it's like a precise driving game with cartoonish Lego cars. What do you guys think about this? Squeaks you first. Is it um, a whole new game or is it a Lego expansion? It's an expansion what, what to it coming uh, June 13th of 2019. Um, I think I own Forza 4, so I might check it out, but I wouldn't. I think it's free with buy. Pass. I think it's free on the Game Pass. I just got to play it. Uh, okay. Because I really just want to play it for the Legos. I don't give. I don't care about having Forza with yeah. it. Did you really? see that car they actually had there? That was pretty cool. Yeah, Stage. yeah, it was neat. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's like like driving, if it's the driving as Forza where you actually have to drive a car, not play cartoony Lego with Legos, I think that'd yeah. be cool. Tiro, are you excited for this game? No. Uh, oh, <laughs> I hate Lego games. Oh, no, man. Oh, they got that Star Wars Lego game coming out, too. It has all nine movies in it. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm okay, so excited Star for that. Wars, that one look actually pretty clean, yeah. but I, I won't get it, but it looks clean. Yeah, I, I, I'm a sucker for it. They got me. I, I, I think I've got to try it out. So, All right, and in the biggest Gears news, news of the weekend, we have Gears Pop. I'm excited for this. It's coming to iOS and to the Android store. Uh you guys going to play this? This uh, 100% because I'm a Gears fan, but <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed because they announced that last year yeah. too. So it's like, what's How long does it long? take to make an app? I can make an app right now. <laughs> it's not that hard. Seriously. And it's 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 not even like a full-on Gears thing. It's like little Funko Pops. So one, my passion for right. Funko Pops, and two, my passion for Gears <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Daniel, you're going to be you big fan of Gears and Pops, right? Uh, I like Gears. <laughs> I don't like pops. He is the only guy. Wait, does Jonathan own any pops? I think Jonathan doesn't own any pops because, like, me, Squeaks, and Joe own pops. Joe. Yeah. By the way, guys, just a cl- another clarification. I'm going to put this up on Twitter. I might pin it on our thing. Uh, Taguro is Daniel, if you guys haven't caught this by now, over, over a year of podcasting. But I keep calling you Taguro, and I think it's because we're doing this over uh, computers, which means you're Taguro at that time. But yeah, that's Daniel, uh-huh. and I'm Taff usually. So if Joe's on the Discord on uh, on our uh, Discord on our uh, podcast, I'm usually Taff. Then, all right, Gears Five gets announced again, or we get a little more Gears Five. We get a trailer. We got a teaser and then a trailer. The teaser looked really good. Trailer was for um, yeah. the uh, the Escape or Escape. Um, what do you guys think of Gears Five? I haven't liked any Gears game since. I may try to replay the entire franchise to get ready for this. I'm debating if I want to d- dedicate enough time to Oh, that. that's a lie. I think YouTube. Just use YouTube. Yeah, just watch, watch the, the Let's Plays. I might do that. Yeah, because, like, honestly, you don't really need to play those games. They're, they're good. Nothing like, like, oh, man, I need to play this. Like, you know, like Halo. It's like a basically like Halo. It's not really worth buying it to to play it watch it on youtube yeah. what do you think what do you think squeaks man if i could slap you fucking right <laughs> right <now. laughs> i know i'll just piss you off too <laughs> that's a good um, whole plan <sighs> so when it um i okay so this is gears five and we're following we're following the female i can't think of her name on top of my head right now so but when it i don't know i just feel like is this an expansion or is this five? Because we're not following; they're changing the whole character. We're not following the Marcus Phoenix, um, Marcus Phoenix's son. Uh, so it felt like okay, now we're playing with this character, yeah. so, which is a little to the side, and I get it. I, I don't know. I felt like oh, this would have been a, a badass expansion. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm a Gears fan. I'm going to play. I'm going to like it, obviously, and I think it will be a, a good story for sure. Yeah. I just wish they didn't. Um, slap us with a new character just in one game you know like we were playing you were playing marcus's um son in the gears 4 and then you're like okay now you're playing her which is it's cool has she been in any past game to me she was she was in the last one but as a you're a side character okay. you know you don't play her or anything so well, we'll find out more kind of on off. september 10th 2019 that's the release yes. but if you have game pass ultimate you get to play september 6th and if you have xbox the normal game pass you get it on september 16th 
So there's three different release dates for that. I love when they do that. That's a sarcastic joke there. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, next up. Will this be available uh, PC uh, right away? Um, you know what? It doesn't say PC on here, but I have a feeling it will be. Because they're trying to they're trying to really go cross play. So I bet it will. It doesn't say it on here though. Damn, it's on Game Pass. Yeah, too. man, I'm telling you that Game Pass. Look, Microsoft's not paying us. Not oh. that I'm not open to that, but they're not paying us to say that. I'm just a big fan of Game Pass because I uh, see a thieves basically. No, I mean for sure. I own every collector's edition that they made uh, for Gears of War, yeah. and so it makes me feel like, damn, I'm gonna pretty much already own it, but I still have to go out and buy the physical copy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, next up, we had a trailer for the game I can't wait for, Halo Infinite. Oh my god, hurry up. Coming out on Project Scarlet mm. and Xbox One and Windows 10. Oh guys, I can't wait for this game, man. It returns in 2020. Uh, we saw this trailer. Quick. What'd you guys think of this trailer? You can play on PC. Yeah, oh yeah, it's coming to PC too, man. Oh, what? Uh... I know, but what'd you think of this trailer? That's what I want to talk about. Oh, it look! <laughs> I'm just like my blood right now. I'm like, I can't wait to play Halo. Wait, on my PC. hold on, Daniel. Okay, again, you're getting Game Pass. We have established this, but with Game Pass, you could play the Master Chief Collection. You could play Halo One to ODST. ODST. You could play Halo yeah. Four, Three, Two. You can play them all on your PC. You know that, right? No. Yeah. So, no, I uh, now I do. You guys need to be gaming, man. <laughs> I thought you could. I thought you had to buy on Steam. No, or just have Game Pass for a buck. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we just lost a girl. He's gonna be playing. Pull your card some, out. Um, <laughs> some Halo. Yeah. So in the trailer, we see there's this guy who's like abandoned in space. Yada yada yada. Real Iron Man situation. Uh, he sees that there's like this oh, wow. like transmission in front of him. He Wipes the thing. There is Master Chief floating in space. Brings him inside. Boots him up. I kind of thought they were going to move the helmet, but they're still not doing that. They said that it alienates people. That's crazy, nevertheless. Uh, and Master Chief realizes Cortana's not in with me still. And uh, he goes to the window. The guy's like, we lost. We lost it all. And we see a freaking halo. Like, I'm so excited to actually see a halo. And it's broken. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. Please. I'm so excited to go back to a halo. Um... Okay, so here's my thing. That's amazing. I'm excited for what Infinite means. It's not Halo 6, so I'm excited for what Infinite means. Uh, but, I mean, okay, are we abandoning this last storyline we had with uh, Luke Cage and Cortana? What's going on? I don't understand. What do you guys think? You guys are cool with abandoning that? No, no, not a lot of people liked 5. Or are they going to still wrap that up somehow? I mean, he's, for some reason, in space. Uh, you would, you they, wouldn't they have, have to wrap that up, right? They have to. Because if they don't, I'm going to be disappointed. Because I want Cortana to become human. Uh, yeah, I mean, we all do. It's 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 in all of our fan fiction dreams. But, I mean, I don't know if it'll be something they'll actually do. I mean, with their technology. I think Cortana's going to be, like, the big bad. I possible. think she's eventually just going to be, like, trying to invade Earth with some sort of, like, cybernetic army or something like that and then master chief's like boom kicking gear i don't know yeah yeah um yeah you would have to finish that story wouldn't you? well it's just so they weird gotta, like yeah. well not so weird actually i'm kind of excited by that story imaging is the idea that uh they're going to be starting like halfway through a new story so he's floating in space we have no reason for him to be floating in space last we saw on five if i remember correctly it's been a bit since i played it um him and luke cage decided to go ahead and hunt down Cortana together and like went after her through a portal. And then I was like, cut to black, right? Into credits. Well, well, I honestly, I don't remember, but it's probably, it, it's probably showing us that. Then later it's going to show us what happened. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. You're right. It'll be, there'll be flashbacks. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I hope they don't I get rid of that whole that. last cast. I liked them. It was just, we need to get way more master chief. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for it. I'm just, I just, when they showed the actual Halo out there, I knew I had rumors. I had heard that they were going back to a Halo. But when you see it on screen, you're like, man, that is some high def Halo. Right now I'm playing Master Chief Collection Edition, right? And uh, the first one, I'm playing the first one. And it's funny because you can press one button to switch back to like original graphics or new graphics. And I'm constantly running around like switch, 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 switch back and forth. The people who watch our stream must hate me because I keep going back to the old version <laughs> and back to the new one. And I'm currently stuck right now. So if you guys can help me out, I I went through this like tunnel. Anyways, figure, you, watch the stream and then tell me where to go. All right. Next up, we got the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. We basically talked about Lego Star Wars. 
Um, it's awesome, and I'm excited for it. Anything else you guys want to throw out there? Um, is is it just a they're just revamping the old ones, or are they kind of fresh take on? All uh, I think they're probably going to revamp the old ones. They do that every so often. They just kind of like, oh. oh yeah, this is the first six movies or something like that. They've done that in the past. So. Yeah, then then I don't care. Yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, I, I played them all before. I, I wouldn't mind playing the Phantom Menace um, one yeah, again. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, for the reason, no matter how much people talk shit about the first three. Out of the first three, the one, two, and three is what I mean. Phantom Menace brought us a lot of things that we love today. It's funny because, like, if you were to play like this, like if you were to play different sound clips of Star Wars, and you're like, okay, which one goes with the best lightsaber battles? Like, they were always like, oh man, that's the one, and it's the Phantom Menace. Like, people don't understand how impressionable Phantom Menace actually was on us, and it is funny because, like, one of the best villains, Darth Maul. Uh, you know, we got to understand Obi Wan Kenobi in a whole new way. Like, it did bring a lot to us. So I'm, I am grateful for that. And I'm personally a fan of it, but yeah. And then there was, I'll, we've talked about in the past, but the whole idea that Jar Jar Binks was actually a Sith Lord. So <laughs> next up, <laughs> we'll leave that on a cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, guys, I never thought I'd say this, but I will be owning Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> you guys going to buy this or what? No. Okay. And the crickets no. are loud. So <laughs> I'm going to put those in there. Okay. So, so what are you flying it's, through? Dude, so it's, or, it's straight whatever. up a simulator where it's just about trying to fly as accurately as possible. Like, it's as close to flying a plane as possible. Now, I personally have a fascination with planes. Uh, I really like them. I think they're pretty interesting and stuff like that, especially biplanes. But this thing, they're using satellite imaging to recapture as much of the Earth as possible. And so it, it's it's meant to be photorealistic while you're flying around. Like, it's supposed to be simulating flight. Like I could take off from say Sacramento airport, go land at LAX and the flight should be pretty similar to what it would be like if I were a real pilot. I, I could just see so many people do bad things on this game and I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> I'm thinking like, I'm going to have like, I'm going to put an add on in that says do a barrel roll. Every time I spin the plane, I'm excited for it. Man. Uh, people be crashing planes and everything. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Squeak's giving people bad ideas. Next up, Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> Uh, big Minecraft. Fan, I mean, so. is it a is it a VR? Is it a VR? The it or can what be. is it? The Dude, plane? okay, so this is I this is Microsoft Flight Simulator Zero. So like there is no this isn't a sequel to something else, but there are other flight simulator games where people have entire PCs and setups with like six monitors that are designed for flight simulators with different controls and everything like that. So it's I mean wow. for the community that plays this game plays this stuff, it's huge. Uh I just have always kind of like looked at it from afar and like that's cool, I respect it. I just haven't had the will to get into it this is gonna be the first one that i'm gonna try out uh it's part of xbox one and windows 10 so that's pretty cool all right yeah minecraft dungeons guys it's gonna be on nintendo switch ps4 xbox one windows 10 uh it's a dungeon crawler coming out in 2020 spring of 2020 with uh with minecraft i mean it's pretty simple what do you guys think of this just um not I don't even know, honestly. Like, I'm not a really big fan of Minecraft. Okay, okay. What do you think, Squeaks? I think this will be the first ever Minecraft thing I play. Oh, man, really? we're breaking them in. Um, uh, I know you got a boner on right now, oh, Frank. And I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm thinking. Anyways, <laughs> I'm keeping it in. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like dungeon crawlers because of like yeah. Diablo and whatnot. And I just think like if you could, I don't know, level up this little Minecraft character and kind of go through. I don't know. It just looks fun. I mean, I don't know, it looks better than. I don't have a big imagination, so that's why I never got into Minecraft. But this looks something I could it's get a, into. It's a it's a real clean like it looks like a real clean dungeon crawler outside of the whole Minecraft thing. That's one thing I'm really excited about because uh, Diablo, big fan of Diablo games stuff like that. So I'm excited to get back into a dungeon crawler. Plus, huge Minecraft fan. So I mean, they really combine two worlds. Uh, one thing I really like is it's four player co-op online or local. I love that we're getting more, they keep calling it couch co-op. I, I could get that tattooed yeah. on me. I love the idea of bringing back couch co-op. Co uh, co oh boy, maybe I can't say it. Um, that's cool though. You should sit with your friends and like, hey man, let's go get ahead, clear some dungeons. Let's get our guys up. Like that's cool, you know? Now, can you link your character or link your account then? Oh, I assume cool so. I, you know, I don't know, but if it's anything like Diablo, because it showed gear, so I'm assuming that gear sticks with you, not with, you know, mm -hmm. that dungeon or something like that. All right, let's kind of speed through the rest of these because we're going a little slow on time. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. The looks, the Will of the Wisps, yeah. Looks great. Haven't played an Ori game. This one's coming out February 11th of 2020. Uh, 
I will have to try those out though because I they do look good. Okay, next, Fantasy Star yeah. Online Two from Sega, biggest MMO in Japan. Will you guys give this a shot when it comes to the Xbox One? Squeaks. Um, no, because I'm always going to compare it. That's to That's wow. tough part with uh, MMOs. Daniel, what about you? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna give it a shot. Honestly, already spent it. Yeah, it's just too hard because I already played WoW, and it's like, and Classic's coming out too. So I'm already ha- I have a lot of things I'm gonna be yeah. doing. Yeah, I mean, we already <laughs> mentioned the name, but um, I already spent so much time on a- another uh MMO. So. Yeah. <laughs> What's going? Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to get to the yeah. one right now. <laughs> uh, next up, this is actually the one of the most excited games I'm. Games I'm most excited for, especially the fact that it's Indies Crazy. RPG Time, The Legend of Right. This is an RPG that's done, it seems like almost like Paper Mario, where everything's like drawn and etched and stuff like that. And you're like a character walking around and like a kid's etching in class. Did you guys see the trailer for this? That's a. No, actually, I missed totally that worth, one. Cause it, oh, I it's totally worth it because it's one of their that. indie ones. They kind of go fast through them. Oh, the artwork okay, okay. for it's really really cool so uh yeah it's all done by etchings and then like almost like some scenes are where he's like cut it out and he's like playing with them on his desk and you can kind of see like the desk and class so in the nice. background so you're actually like playing on the kid's desk it looks super cool and i you know that's pretty i cool, really yeah. like when the art style is like man i'm sunk in already into that world so that's cool uh sea of thieves just some news on like the, the, the how well the arena is doing that game has continued to thrive and the arenas are really like just totally pushing it up so Always down with Sea of Thieves. That's great. And we'll have to get back yeah, on that. Uh, let's go. They got some Star uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Basically, we had a new trailer, but this one really pushed the Force Whitaker aspect. So uh, if you guys didn't know, Force Whitaker is coming to Star Wars, uh, the Fallen Order. State of Decay 2, uh, Heartland. Did you you played State of Decay, State of Decay 1, right, Squeaks? Uh, State of Decay. Why am I blinking? Oh, then, yeah, they just came out with that not yeah. so long ago, right? So they have State an expansion coming yeah. up. Uh yeah, it was it was cool. It was yeah. whatever. It was cool. That's all. I don't have much to say. And about And Daniel, it, did you try it out at all? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, Tales of Arise. It looks okay. Uh, the Outer Worlds. We got a little. That was actually the first trailer they showed. Uh, this one's from Obsidian Entertainment and Private uh, uh, and Private Division. It's coming to Game Pass. This is going to be a really big game. I'm hoping it's the replacement for Fallout. It has that kind of feel to it. So. It's just a first-person adventure game. The graphics are not great, but the story looks really good. So basically, yes, it is a Fallout. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. The next indie game that I was super excited for is called Twelve Minutes. Tell me, you guys saw the trailer for this? No, I missed oh, all the. Oh man, images. it's so cool. So yeah, this is a top-down cool. image of a guy's apart, or I'm sorry, a couple's apartment, right? And the two are talking, and he's telling you, like, "Look, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna die. We don't, we don't have much time." We have to do this. And then a guy breaks in and shoots the wife. Boom. Time rewinds back to 12 minutes. And then so you have to like change what's going on in your world to try to save your wife. And it shows like alternates every 12 minutes. Time goes back. So like in some time, in some of the lapses or the loops, we'll call them loops. In some of the loops, like you're dancing with your wife and it's a wonderful day. Boom. Next one. She was murdered in the bathroom. Boom. Next one. You guys have dinner all night and it's great. Boom. Next. So it's like you try to like get as many good ones as you can, depending on what you did in that event. So. I like that. That sounds cool. <laughs> it's really neat art style as well. Uh, Wastelands 3 from D- Deep Silver also coming to Xbox uh, Game Pass. To me, the graphics on this game is terrible. So I'm and it, it just looks like such a dated game. Super Xbox 360. Anything from Wastelands 3 to grow? Did you see the trailer for this? No, I didn't. Yeah, it was really un- uh, you know forgettable. Uh, Squeak, did you catch this at all? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, and next time. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was uh, actually kind of into this twelve minutes trailer. <laughs> Somebody pulled it up. Okay, uh, and then last, <laughs> yeah, I look at it. last is Way to the Woods, and this one's by One Pixel Dog. Looks good too. Those are a lot of indie games towards the end. There, last up, guys, we're gonna go over real quick the Bethesda conference. I know we're this is gonna be a long episode already, but let's dig into it. What'd you guys think? Uh, there's not much that. Not yeah, much so this is gonna into. be pretty fast. So, what do you guys think of Bethesda's yeah. whole approach? It felt like, like, hey guys, we're sorry we messed up. Here's some apologies. That was the whole conference. Uh, what was the apologies? Like the shit was garbage. Still, like, it was more like they gave us free stuff for the games that uh, were oh, so it. bad, like Fallout. 76. Fallout seventy six. Like, yeah, so many. They're getting like free expansions. They're getting a battle royale game for free. 
Uh, the Battle Royale yeah. actually looks good. I do like the fact that it's like this fire effect, like a burning fire, like wildfire coming in on you. So that's pretty cool. But it basically, it's the same premise as a regular uh, one. It has a lot of building in it. So Fortnite. Um, I do like that. It was funny because one of the comment, uh, commentators that they had at GameSpot was even mentioning this was like, it's pretty bad when there's that much cheering for you adding human NPCs to an old game. And yeah, that was big yeah. news for Bethesda. They're putting in human NPCs into Fallout 76. Uh, there were some loyal fans there for Fallout 76. I hear it is much improved. There are some loyal fans. I will not be trying it anytime soon, although it is yeah. free for the next week if you guys want to give it give it a shot. Bethesda's handing it out for free right now uh, for a trial. So yeah, wow. human NPCs, like woot woot, right? Next Oh I know, gosh. right? Next up, now this did look good, but we don't have a lot of information on what it is. Ghostwire Tokyo. Taguro, you were talking about this. What do you think about this game? Trailer looked awesome. Yeah, not much, yeah. Like, I was really surprised. I didn't expect that. Yeah. I, I'd like to see like a little more of the gameplay and stuff like that, but it, again, it, it, yeah, it was like definitely. an inception with like uh, Chinese maybe influences. I, or I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not too great at nailing yeah. the countries there, but uh, yeah, it does look really good. Uh, Commander Keen. This is all about that art style again. This looks co- this looks cool. Uh, I wish it wasn't a mobile game because it looks like it was really bastardized quick. But I would like to see this as a side scroller, like this art style as a side scroller. What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna be checking out this uh, Commander Keen? They've been doing good on their mobile games, like Blades and stuff like that. Um, not at all. No, honestly, yeah. I, I'm just not a mobile person. Like I don't understand how people spend like four hundred dollars a month. <laughs> On a Shout out game. to Derek, who's patiently waiting for us to be done with this recording so he can yeah, play games with us tonight. But yes, $400 a month, some people. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like, why are you going to come to E3 and talk to me about a cell phone game? So I, just I think it's going to become bigger and bigger, too. Like we saw that at last BlizzCon. It's just, it's the where the money's yeah, at. Yeah, but you, see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, oh my gosh. But you see how many people get upset about it. I know, it, exactly, yeah. yeah. Rage 2 is getting its first expansion coming later this year. I might actually give that game a shot. It does look pretty good. Uh, uh, you already played it before. You played Borderlands, right? Okay, Same thing. good to know. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bethesda did announce their streaming text. It's called Orion. That's how they're streaming stuff now. They're showing off Doom on it. Uh, that's cool. I think it's, again, I'm, I'm a big advocate for streaming right now, mostly because I got good internet now. So I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with this. <laughs> um, um, I think what you said earlier, I was I wrote it down to reference it. You said it was a feature of gaming. And with that Orion? Orion, or, or, yeah. What, are, what is it called? Yeah. Orion? I think when they showed off um, Doom on that cell phone with that controller, I was like, holy crap, that looks great. I don't know if it's like fixed or whatever. Well, that's, but that, That's what like this xCloud is in Stadia. That's, they're, they're doing that yeah. now. So, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, crazy. Next up, we have Doom Eternal is getting a new battle mode called – or it's, it's going to have a new ba- battle mode called uh, – oh, it's called battle mode. I'm sorry. It's two against one multiplayer. I haven't played Doom since back in the very old days, and I don't want to give you numbers here because I don't want you guys to know how old I am, but I'm talking like Windows 95, y'all. So that's how old. Are you guys excited for Doom Eternal's battle mode? Are you guys going to be playing this? What do you guys think? I am, actually. I think it's pretty fun. I think it looks pretty fun. It's kind of like um, when you we played um, kind of like it, Left 4 Dead. I um, love Left 4 Dead, With the zombies yeah. versus the humans. I mean, obviously, it's not as you know four on four, whatever the case, but two on one. I think it. I think this is actually gonna be pretty fun. Am I excited for Doom? Yes, because the last one, I enjoyed a lot, running around, shooting everything, going crazy. Um, so I'm excited for this one. What about you, Tigre? Are you gonna be playing this? Really? Uh see, I know I'm really negative, but it just looked horrible. I'm not really a big fan of Doom too. I think you're just like uh, Katie. <laughs> Competitive first person shooters. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. That's not <laughs> even me and Taff were actually talking about this before you actually got on Discord. It it just looked horrible. It just everything about it, like wow, the, the new what? Doom, it was like a almost like uh portals. Like it's like well, I wouldn't use I wouldn't use portals no, as a bad thing. <laughs> not, not portals. Uh, let's say Star Wars, the new Star there Wars game yeah. coming out. It was just like that. And I was just not like, very original. I'm just not a big fan of Doom. It's yeah. like I said, it's been so long. So long. Not, oh, it just seems they're trying too hard. That's what it seems like. Trying I, mean, way I, too hard. I think they're just fun little games. Like I don't need a big exploring game every single yeah, day. That's a very out. good point. Yeah. See, if I were to, 
I, I could use or, I could use like a, a short game like that. I, I just have to give it a shot. It's been a long time since I've played a game like that, so I will give it a shot at some point. Well, it's like every game needs to be this open world thing. No, it doesn't. Like we were talking about Star That's Wars true. on like on yeah. Rails. Okay, yeah, I get it. I wish Star Wars was a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, I get it. I'm just running straight. But um I I could play a game that's on Rails and still super enjoy it. Just like a quick pick me yeah, up, that's you know? Fair. So I don't need a open world Doom game because everything's open world nowadays. Well, that's not what I'm asking for because I really don't care for open world games. It just takes way too long to beat the game. I just want to beat the game so I can get back on my PC. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, Doom. Play that's Doom. It's a real All easy. Right. Yeah, I'll give Doom a chance. When it looks that garbage. I'll, I'll give Doom a oh, chance. How about this? Game. Okay. This is I like this idea. Because it's a short game, we can do this. I'll give Doom a chance. Everybody give Doom a chance, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it a little bit. We'll give a quick review of Doom. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm up for the challenge if you guys are. I'm not spending the sixty dollars for it. You can borrow <laughs> mine. I'm not gonna spend the sixty dollars right. for it too. I'll I'll find a way. <laughs> I'm gonna go Jurassic Park. Nature will find a way, okay? I'll get that game. <laughs> Enough said, no details. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So yeah, Bethesda, their biggest problem is they didn't have a dang thing about what's it called, Starfield and oh, yeah. Elder Scrolls Six. Give me something. Show me yeah. anything that shows some progress on that game. I'm in. But nothing. I mean, like no, oh. they just wanted to show us more Elder Scrolls Online. That that was well, I mean, I still do, that I was like actually that. a really cool trailer, and I really like ESO, but. <laughs> And and we did get uh, Blades, which is terrible, but whatever. I played it and I couldn't stand it. Um, I just really wanted some good narrative storytelling of Elder Scrolls. And yeah, so Elder Scrolls Online, anyway, sorry, uh, doesn't quite have the storytelling aspect of it. Like that trailer looked amazing. But when you play Elder Scrolls Online, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't have that story in it, you know? So it's kind of, it's kind of hard, you know? It's been a bit since I played too, but yeah. Are you guys willing to try ESO again? <laughs> No, <laughs> Daniel. I know you're thinking about going back. Actually, uh, I was thinking about trying it, but right now, ugh, I'm back on I Wow. Know. I'm back on that World of Warcraft. Those hooks grind. are in us good right now, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Anything else you guys wanted to talk about on E3? Or are we gonna call it? We're right now like an hour and twenty minutes in. No, um, E3 hasn't super shocked. So, yeah, me so far yet. it's been pretty low key. Yeah, I've been disappointed. Yeah. 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 I, I would have to agree. I think the highlight was with Keanu Reeves. <laughs> That's about yeah. It. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There has been some that the indie ball. games. I, I've been impressed with the indie games, which is, I'm trying to broaden to play more indie games, and so I've been paying attention to them more. And and I've found a few that I'm going to be definitely trying out. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. Uh, Hollow Knight. I need to play Hollow Knight. And it just came to Game Pass as well, so that's gonna happen. I'll download that right after this, actually. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us on our first night. We're going to go for the next two nights. Uh, there'll be smaller ones because this one had the most content. Uh, like the last is just Nintendo. So it'll be like, did you guys see who's coming to Smash Brothers? And that'll be it. Um, all right, guys. So that's going to be it for us. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for joining us on the Geek Freaks podcast. You can find us on Twitter at Geek Freaks Pod. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, you can email us, we have our Patreon and a store, all those links are in the description. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you guys next week.